All right. And welcome here to the Australian Lacrosse Network in game two of our live and free coverage from the Brighton Lacrosse Club in the 2022 men's. As we see the New Zealanders just sending a bit of love the South Australian way. And to all our friends over the ditch watching, we love having you part of this and congratulations on your first win ever in Australia yesterday against the uh, West Australians, no, New Victorians. And South Australia come onto the field and uh, they have a job to do against this New Zealand outfit because the New Zealand outfit were very good yesterday. As the New Zealanders take the field, we wish both teams the best of luck with this one. And we look forward to a cracking game. We're obviously coming from the uh, Brighton Lacrosse Club here in South Australia. And it's uh, nothing but bloody freezing at the moment. The breeze is about eight degrees and the sunshine makes it about 13. But uh, I tell you what, it's gonna get hot here in a minute because these two teams are the only two unbeaten teams in the competition. And they will both want that at the end of the game. So here we go. Where do I go? That way. There we go. All right. So referees are ready. Players are ready. And South Australia, last couple of minutes of uh, the words from the captains. And don't forget, I'm going to be online as much as I can be while I'm commentating. So send us a shout out. And uh, I'll try to uh, read them out as we go on. And here we go. So we've got Ben Cowan up against William Holt in the middle. Philippa out the side here against Josh Ford. And battle to be done. Holt. Face off to be one. Holt. Gets the ball out. Didn't get the ball out. Ground ball to be won. Big ground ball there. Fantastic ground fall. Just uh, takes it to some space there. Does Angus Nicholson. And just kicks it over there to Armani Martin. And New Zealand will come into attack for the first one. Dante Martin just on the ground. Cathcart with the ball. Kicks it on to Clarkson. Clarkson. And pops up back up the top. And Martin with the ball. Driving against Holt. Good shorty defense there. As uh, the defense goes amongst it. Parker just hitting it up there to Martin. Martin stepping down the right hand side. Trying to free the hands. I tell you, he freed the hands. But uh, threw it the other way. But shot had. Good defense. Clarkson with the ball. Kicks it to Parker. Parker looking for an option here. Martin. No. Clarkson. Down the back. Kicks it. Now Clarkson has it. Up against Big Griff. Clarkson. Flag down. And ball comes loose. So New Zealand are going to have a man up opportunity early in the first. And we get to have a look at their man up. And yesterday, they were looking for shots coming from uh, Clarkson on that right 45. So we'll see whether or not that's a, still the same game plan for today. As ball kicked out to Clarkson and it looks like it is. And New Zealand on the board first. And that is what we were looking for. Clarkson with his first and he was firing them yesterday from that 45 right hand side in the man ups and he found his range in the first one. So 1-0 New Zealand and Clarkson with the first. 
So uh, New Zealand start their campaign in this game very well. So Seb, hardest in the face-off for South Australia. And Ben Cowan for the New Zealanders. Sam Hissy coming off the wing. Josh Ford with a long pole, just uh, not getting acquaintances at the moment. But uh, ground ball to be won. Hardest with the ball. But won by the New Zealanders. Ben Cowan picks up the ball and uh, just gives it to his uh, attacking partner down there. And New Zealand with another opportunity. Nicholson with the ball. Nicholson. Brings the ball down here to Parker. Parker, a bit of razzle-dazzle. Steps inside the long pole. There's going to be a hold there. So another penalty coming for South Australia. And uh, already off goes Will Ingles. Inglis, sorry. 30-second hold. But New Zealand in a man-up situation again as one of those penalties has been released. So 30 seconds more. And uh, Henry Clarkson on that right 45 looking to uh, fill some bags right now from the top sorry he's missed the he's, he, they've taken him out of the right 45. ben cowan says it's my shot from there now so ball down the back parker oh just loses the handle of the ball just oh that's a shepherd that's going to be a moving pick so that will go the way of the south australians picked up there by Hardis. Hardis, oh, set him up. Set him up big time, but well done. Luke Radovanovic just tries to pick it up. He's got a hold now, Luke. And we have, uh, sorry, a legal substitution from South Australia. Turn them all over. And offside are uh, South Australia. So another penalty coming here. They have... Uh, Caught it over there, CBO? No, not throwing a flag this time. South Australia definitely offside there. <laughs> Hayden Eek just telling me to be quiet. I can't do that, Hayden. <laughs> ball up the top here. Martin with the ball. He's got Nash sitting on his left-hand side, kicks it down the back. Picked up by Cathcart. Cathcart looking for an outlet. And the only outlet there was the boundary line. Good work there from the South Australian defender and Jack Higgins just pushing him out. And South Australia will have an opportunity to get the ball into offense and have their first offensive set. So outlet, push to the other side. Oh, great body out there. Ball to be won. And it is one. That is Sean Fulepo with a great one-handed ground ball. Kicks it down the back now. Just assessing the options down there. Ollie Walsh looking for someone. Kicks it up to Perkins. Perkins looking for his uh, opportunity. There might nearly a trip there. Gets past. Keeps his feet. Steps out. Looks inside. Little one to Walsh. Walsh loses the handle of the ball. Picked up by the defender for New Zealand. Rhodes. Rhodes under immense pressure from three. A great forward pass to Dante Martin. And Martin will bring the ball into attack now. Oh, there's a brush maybe. Yep, letting it play. <laughs> Definite helmet sound there. But uh, brush called. Hey, Rubbins racing. Let him play. So ball in the hands going left here. Cathcart looks up the top. Finds Martin. Kicks it there to Cowan. Cowan. Over to Clarkson. Clarkson looking down the bottom finds Parker. Parker. Just going about to work. Trying to drag out to Inglis there. Ball back up the top. Clarkson with the ball. No. Gives it back to Clarkson. Clarkson back down to Cathcart. Oh, sorry, Parker. Parker looks inside. Misses the ball. Ball to be won. And Elijah Lee with plenty of pace. Gets the ball back for New Zealand. No damage done there. Cowan has the ball now. Big Griff just uh, going about him. He's a big body to get past his Griff. But uh, well held there by Cowan. Cowan 
Kicks it over the to Parker. Parker has Inglis on him. Kicks the ball up the top. So very wide here, New Zealand looking. So he uh, tries to drive the short. He steps, pops, bang! New Zealand have two. And Clarkson gets his second down the right-hand side. Luke Ranovanovic with the defense just allowed him to free the hands wide. And uh, Clarkson with his second of the game. Throwing that one across the keeper. Really hard shot to uh, save for the right-hand keeper down in the bottom corner. And he has his second. And New Zealand out to a 2-0 lead here. So, New Zealand. South Australia in the face. New Zealand kicking out here. 2-0. Cowan in the face. Up against Holt. And South Australia, they know they have a game on their hands right now. Cowan up against Holt. Cowan with the ball. Oh, let one go there. That's good. Rubbing his race and Higgins picking up Cowan. Just running with him. Loses the pick. Kicks the ball up here. Nicholson, South Australia will want to get the ball in their stick and have some offense here because they've spent about two seconds down in their offensive end before it turned over. Another opportunity here. Nicholson driving down the side. Kicks it there to Parker. Parker out the back. Kicks it to Clarkson. Clarkson's got two. Griff's picked him up. He's looking to free the hands again. Good slide. Great slide there from Summerton. Summerton, but kicks the ball up. Finds the ball at the top here to Nicholson. Nicholson down the side. Shoots again. That one's just gone right. But uh, back up there was Clarkson. And New Zealand are bringing the ball back in again. So Clarkson against Summerton. Clarkson likes what he sees. Higgins just watching that two. And one. Kicks the ball up the top. Baba with the ball. Faking left, going right, going left. Sh oh, steps inside, parts the seas, and Baber, Liam Baber, gets the third. And in the blink of an eye, New Zealand are out to a 3 0 lead here. Fantastic start for New Zealand. And Liam Baber with his first. And we're going to have a timeout to South Australia and a good timeout there, I'd say. New Zealand up and about here at the Brighton Lacrosse Club in our second live and free game brought to you by the Australian Lacrosse Network. And I can tell you that is just the way the New Zealand coaches wrote it up in the change rooms. South Australia coaches are going to have to have a chat here and uh, just get a little bit uh, more body on that. The last three goals... Setting up at the top, driving the left-hand pipe. And a nice roll back there on the left. But two from Nicholson as well coming down there. And uh, New Zealand, what a start here. And if you're on live and free on the Australian Lacrosse Network, send us a shout-out. As I've got a bit of time here, I can have a look now. Sally Baba, hi from New Zealand. Well, any relation to Liam Baba? Because he's just... Uh, had a cracking shot there. James Stumpo says, let's go Kyle Parker. Lucas Thorne says, let's go New Zealand. Daniel Elston, got to watch the penalties SA. Yes, you are quite right, Dan. Go Liam. Proud Nana. There we go. Sorry if I read down a bit more, I can see. So Sally, great to have you live and free on the uh, Australian Across Network. And uh, ball back in the centre here. So, Hardis up against Cowan. Ball to be won. Long stick. Picked up by Happy. Ball still to be won. Hardis picks the ball up. Under pressure immediately. Just, just riding all over them at the moment, New Zealand. And Cowan will pick the ball up and bring it back in. Kicks it over there to Martin. And New Zealand back into uh, offense again. And we have a 3-0 uh, game.
Rolling inside is Parker. Parker steps in, just pops it in. Man open in the middle. Great pick up from Radovanovic. Radovanovic under plenty of pressure though from Cathcart. Stills. Great save there. Lewis Guyatt. Ball to be won. No loose ball push. Let him rub. Steps up in front again. New Zealand 4 0. Cathcart with his first of the game. And have New Zealand come to play today? 4-0, and a turnover there. Brought the ball back into the center of the crease. Cathcart with the ball, takes a little step, a little bit of a dodge, and uh, pops that one away. And Guy, it might have worn one on the thumb there, but good save, just uh, popped out. No ground ball was to be had. And back into the center we go, Cowan. Up against Holt, South Australia. I tell you what, they must think it's got about a 11% gradient like the Tour de France at the moment because it's uphill right now to get it into offense. But there we go. Holt with the with the face off, kicks it down. No, it's, now South Australia will want to have some attack here. Kicks it to Eag. Eag out the back. Oh, just. Uh, just uh, a little bit more patience down there for their first offensive. Philippa kicks it over there to Green. Green kicks down to Holt. Holt down the back. Sees Walsh. Walsh with the ball. Goes left. Just loses the handle of the ball to Green. New Zealand picks it up again. Under pressure though. Great turn there from Nicholson. Nicholson looks forward. He finds Cowan. Cowan just takes it into offense. And numbers aren't there. New Zealand are going to have a timeout. It is 4-0 here on your Australian Lacrosse Network. New Zealand have come out on fire. And we hope you're enjoying the coverage here on the uh, Australian Lacrosse Network. And I'll see whether I can get back to my uh, lots of comments coming in. Um, Mark Griffith watching. Aaron Hill watching. Henry Haskett. Good to hear your voice, Tony, mate. It's good to see your name. Great to be back and amongst it. And uh, Pam McLaughlin says, go New Zealand. Mark Cowan, go Ben Cowan and Team New Zealand. Well, tell you what, they're going at the moment. Jack Mills, when Jack and Wendy Mills from New Zealand. Lots of our cousins from over the ditch are uh, tuning in and they'd be liking what they see so far. Jeff Wilmot, go New Zealand. Giant Slayers, well, they're proving that at the moment. Beat WA yesterday. And they're 4-0 up against South Australia, who sort of got up over Victoria yesterday. James Stumpo says, thanks for the live stream. This is awesome. James, great you could be on here, mate. And, um, yeah, just great that you're enjoying the live coverage from the Australian Lacrosse Network. And so much lacrosse on at the moment. The Women's Worlds, we've got the Sixers starting, the World Sixers starting in uh, Bingham today. So uh, lots of lacrosse around the world being played. And Cody Watts says, are New Zealand eligible to make the final? Well, no, they're not. But they could still finish 3-0 and zero and not make the final. But uh, that would be a disservice at the moment. But that other, I believe that is the rules code. So, uh, but you know what? They're playing fantastic lacrosse at the moment as Martin gets the ball. Down this right-hand side, this is where it's going, and a good slide there. So South Australia obviously talked about that as English, but up the top, kicks it back up, steps inside. Step, step, pop, guy, great save. Ball still to be won in the centre. Still on the deck. Scrap ball to be won. Someone clears. We might have a loose ball push there. And that might be going to, oh, called a New Zealand ball. Well, New Zealand came in. Cleaned out the uh, centre there, knocked him over, and we give it to New Zealand, but that's okay. Maybe withholding there, kicks it down the bottom. Good turn. Parker, good defence. Great defence from Summerton. Summerton, ball back up the top now with Nash. Nash picks up Higgins. Nash down the left hand side. Slide comes early, which leaves Martin an opportunity, but Higgins recovers well. Great, great check. South Australia with the ball, it's up the top. Need, need to win this one. New Zealand, black shirts everywhere. Get the ball back. And Martin with the ball, just settles it down again. 
He's picked the shorty up in this right-hand side. He's got Summoner to run into, but just decides to kick it down the back. Cathcart, he's got a goal. Parker assessing his options. So South Australia going into a zone now. So they've gone into a zone defence, just trying to mess up that uh, sprint down this side where they will always run into a double. So always running into a double, so they're going to have to pass it off, and it's worked that time as an inherent pass. Heads out the back. And Inglis will bring the ball back in. He'll probably give this to Guyatt here in the keeper's role. Guyatt just steps out the back, assesses his options. Big outlet coming off the bench. He finds Philippa. So here we go. South Australia with an opportunity in offense. Philippa, who's coming off a uh, great defense there from ha Happy. And South Australia just need to get some ball touch in offense. Oh, black ball. Everything running the Kiwis way here. So three seconds, Seager with the ball. Time for the first quarter. And there we go. New Zealand 4-0 at quarter time here against the SA Reds. And what a fantastic start for them. And South Australia coaches will have a chat at quarter time, but they just need to get some uh, offensive ball and be able to uh, do something with it. They've uh, certainly rushed down there. So we might uh, just do some scorers here. So New Zealand, well, they're the only team I have to talk about at the moment. Clarkson's got two, Cathcart's got one, and Liam Baba has one as well. That is 4-0, and the South Australians, well, they've been a donut king, they have zero. So what do the South Australians need to do here, apart from get the ball in their stick and keep it in offense? Maybe pass it around once or twice. But uh, I'm sure they'll be a little shell-shocked at the moment. As uh, we see Noah Haskett just uh, warming up there. But uh, I think Guy at has done a good job, made a couple of good saves. It's just the uh, influx of the New Zealand attack has been relentless at the moment. And they just aren't letting up. And South Australia are going to have to deal with that very, very quickly. So quarter time done. Coaches have had their say. And South Australia, there's a couple of heads just... Uh, Walking back a little sullen. Defense has played a lot of defense now. And we've got a change. We have got a change for the keeper for SA. Noah Haskett goes into the cage. Lewis Guyton heads out. And, uh, again, I don't think Lewis, mate, that was <laughs> under immense pressure. I'd keep my gear on because uh, if that is anything to go by for the second quarter, I think Noah Haskett might be... Uh, having a few saves to make. All right, back in the face now. As we uh, see New Zealand, we've got a stale ball in the middle. We've got Cowan just trying to work it out, trying to clear it free, trying to get it in the back of his stick. We've got withholding. Okay, withholding to New Zealand. So, Filippo will pick the ball up. Now, all South Australia need is three passes in offense to actually get everyone a touch. As New, as New Zealand push out on them, they're not going to give them anything easy in this offensive set. Ball kicks over to Rob. Hutto Rob kicks it to Philippa. Philippa kicks it to Green. Green pops it over the other side as Philippa runs off, runs through the pick, steps inside. Philippa fires one over. And the first shot, I believe, for the South Australians as Perkins goes to the crease with Eag. Perkins and Eag. So South Australia in a 1-4. And New Zealand just trying to work out the defense here. And fire. Oh, Tink off the bar. Had some heat. And Anthony Green gets their second shot, but nothing on target. Keeper hasn't had to uh, make a save yet. South Australia, at least with some offense. 
Perkins kicks the ball up here to Green. Green kicks it over to Filippa. Filippa looks at Rob. Little two-man game. No, just setting it for the top. Might be a sweep here. Picks up the shorties. So New Zealand shorties playing at top. Hutto just kicks the ball down. Ball down to Walsh. Walsh, good legs. Good double comes out, steps up, looks down the bottom. Picked off by the keeper. Pops it over the top. Oh, nearly picked off there, but perfect timing. 23, Angus Nicholson. And great job there by Snape in the cage. Just saw that one coming, picked it off. And New Zealand back into offense. Parker just kicks the ball down there to Clarkson. Parker up to Martin. Not yet up to Martin. Runs through the pick. Martin coming on is Nicholson. Nicholson, a little bit of razzle-dazzle. Just pushes past him. Steps inside. We're going to have a Ward. Ward called there. Just pushed him off with the uh, leading arm. Turnover of the ball. South Australia will have to clear it from the back. And that is through the stick of Anthony Green. Green, Filippa, opens up. But uh, numbers aren't there for South Australia. And they're looking back here. They could still have another one. Still need another one in offense. As we see Hutto with the ball. Picks up the shorty. Up the top to Green. Says kick it down. Kick it down the side. Perkins. Perkins down the back. Walsh. With the ball, fires, shoots. Walsh puts him on the board. And South Australia, that must be the scoring end. I reckon it's the breeze. But South Australia on the board. And that is a fantastic shot there from Ollie Walsh, number 22 for South Australia. First on the board, 4-1 game, early in the second. And uh, what is turning in to be a very entertaining game. And I'll put it out there early. Do we have a golden goal in us? I mean, I just like the extra time to be able to talk. So ball back down. Cowan is against Holt. Snap held. Ball's out. New Zealand just falling their way at the moment. Happy with the ball. Just misses, uh, might have been a little bit of sunshine there. Just need to get the ball. South Australia, great work there from Hissy. Hissy just goes in, gets the ball, takes the ball, runs the fake, tiptoes, and uh, great work from Hissy. And we've got a New Zealander just uh, feeling it here. Might be an arm. So he's in a lot of pain. We're just going to assess him. So it looks like Cowan, and it looks like it was in the contest there. I can't quite see this, but it, it looked like an arm. And we're just uh, holding play here as the New Zealanders. So I believe number 16, and it looks like an arm, and it looks like a wrist or an elbow. Oh, it might be a shoulder. I reckon he's popped his shoulder. That looks like a dislocated shoulder. So uh, Ben Cowan will leave the field, but he's up, he's walking, and uh, they could be popped back in by the look of it. It looks like a shoulder at this stage or an arm injury. We'll keep you updated on the Australian Lacrosse Network in the health of Ben Cowan. He's playing some really good ball there. But it will start with New Zealand as the pressure there just took Sam Hissey out of the ball, with the ball, out of bounds. And uh, starts up the top here with Clarkson. Are you right? Clarkson. Just running the ball down, left steps inside, right fires. Oh, didn't get much on that. I think his stick hit the ground as he went to uh, shoot that. Haskett pops it out, Poskett pops it back to Haskett. There's an open man in the middle. Hissy on by himself, not being looked at. And uh, they were uh, riding really well here. So they're looking for an option. And they've got options this side now. Filippa finds himself. Oh, find the shorty. 
So Filippo, good job there from Summerton. Eventually got it out of the defensive end and gets it back down. Walsh with the ball. Oh, Ball back out of Filippo. No damage done then. Ewan Locke with the backup, just tipped off. So we got Walsh, kicks it to Hissy. Kicks it to Locke, who kicks it to Green. So South Australia with some offense, looking to run this. They've got uh, running into a double. Steps inside for Lepper, good step. Pops over, hits the other side, good save. He found Walsh on the bottom corner. Walsh putting pressure on the keeper. Kicks it out here to Snape. No, sorry, that's Rhodes, who then finds Martin and New Zealand. Where they're getting comfortable at the moment in offense. The defenses are going to be happy. They're not having to play too much. So Martin with the ball. And he just uh, settle it down. Clarkson comes on. Clarkson just put, tries to push past Hissy. Hissy with some really good pressure on the stick. Just not even allowing to free those hands. And that's what you've got to do. Engage that as a defender. Stay on the hands and not let them uh, free them. And Noah was very good. He just uh, found that ball coming a little bit slower to him than it should have been. Noah draws and they've got to watch the offside, but that's all good. So Summerton comes down, finds Walsh. Walsh will just run it to the X position. And Green presents up top and Filippa presents the next one up. So Filippa looking to run down on this left right hand side. Steps inside, frees the hands and uh, just bobbles out the back of the stick. But good job there from Green. Green picks the ball up. Hutto Rob kicks the ball down to Walsh. Walsh Stepping around, gives it to Rob. Rob shoots. Rob fires through the five hole. South Australia have their second. It is a 4-2 game. And a good job from the defense down here. Sam Hesse initially doing a really good job with that short stick defense. Just engaging the defender enough as a defender not to be able to free the hands. Noah was good enough to get that, clear the ball. And Hutto Rob gets his first of the game. It is a 4-2 game here. And South Australia, I'm just wondering whether all the uh, goals are going to be scored to the club end, because it seems that way at the moment. Might be a 12-goal breeze out here. Ball back in the centre. Oh, I'm good. Ball out. Filippa wins it. And over, they've got to watch good the offside. Watch that well. So ball here with Walsh. Walsh has Perkins. He also has the last goal scorer, Hutto Rob. So Rob with the ball. Looks up top. Finds Walsh. Kicks the ball out to Eag. Eag looks down. Rob fires. Oh, great save there. Good save again from Rhodes. Sorry, take that back. That's Snape. I'm getting 10 and 20 mixed up. Ball up the top. Goes to Nash. Nash brings them into an offensive set. Straight up to Nicholson. That was from Dante Martin. So Nicholson. Ball down to Parker. Ball goes through the X position. Clarkson. He likes what he has there, but... He's a big boy to get past. You've got to watch that arm just swinging. So second, Summerton stops, pops in. Flag is going to be there. And that is going to be a hold. Two flags down. A late flag. A slash for one. And an unsportsmanlike for one. Okay, so he's got him for a slash. And an unsportsmanlike. One of which, as a coach, you can cop. One of which you can't. <laughs> anyway, South Australia are going to see New Zealand's man up again. 
Ball kicks up to Marnie. Martin. Kicks it there to, Mar to the other Martin. Armani Martin to Dante Martin. To Martin. Steps in Parker. Parker looks at firing. Pops. Gives it back. Looks down the bottom corner. Great pick up. Oh, just over the top there from Clarkson. But great ball movement from the, from the New Zealand team. And finding that extra pass. And if he takes one more step. So two minutes of penalties here. Steps in, fires. But uh, not this time, says Noah Haskett. He says, yep, seen that shot before. As Summerton gets the ball. Oh, that's a long, dangerous pass. That going to Philippa. And that's a push. Going to be a loose ball. Push. Philippa. Off he goes. Oh, he can fast start that. Green with the ball. Philippa trying to uh, get the fast restart. Comes this side here to Philippa. Kicks down the back. Flag down as the ball gets tipped. We are going to see a penalty here on Max Mills for a slash for one minute. Okay. So South Australia with one in the box. New Zealand with one in the box. We're going to have a five on five situation. But uh, with South Australia having a two-minute penalty, they probably wasted about a minute there. So they're probably going to break about even. So play a bit of five-on-five. Five. Kicks the ball to Rob. Rob assesses his options. His option is Philippa up the top. Kicks the ball over to Walsh. Walsh to Philippa. Some five-on-five five here. Just stepping through there is Parks. Steps inside, looks up. Oh, looks at him. Just couldn't handle the ball. Ball still to be won, and it is won by the goalkeeper. Snape, Snape releases Beck. Beck all the way, steps in, pops. Noah Haskett says, thank you very much. We've got a flag here, though. Red seven. Okay, so when that ball went to the keeper... Philippa has been deemed to be in the crease, so that'll be a 30-second penalty. And South Australia will have to get onside. They are onside. All right, New Zealand with a man up. 30-second man up for the New Zealanders. Ball, Martin. Martin there to Nash. Nash. He kicks it over to Clarkson. Clarkson. Nash. Martin. Okay, even now, man up. Man up New Zealand, steps in. Oh, fires that one to the left-hand side. And Clarkson doesn't make Haskett have to do anything, but he's lined up again, looks at Summerton, looks up the top. Penalty release for South Australia. Man coming on, we are six on six again. Ball down the back there with Cathcart. Now with Parker, Parker, good check. Just loses the handle of the ball. But South Australia, Summerton picks it up. Oh, Noah Haskett stayed head down. Oh. So we're going to have a penalty here again. South Australia are going to have to keep out of the box. And Perkins with that one, he's been given an illegal body as the head was down and he's made contact. So Perkins will sit. South Australia, man down again. New Zealand getting more opportunities. Nash kicks it over there to Martin. Martin gets it back. Gets it to Martin. That's Dante. Steps in. Oh, that's a shot. Oh, good save again from Haskett. Haskett just says, that's mine. Thanks very much. And he's been good since he's come on. Noah Haskett certainly uh, drying up some goals down there. Mind you, I think it wouldn't have mattered who was in the cage in that first quarter with New Zealand. That's checking the goalie. But uh, not cold. So he put it back in the crease. And uh, had, yeah, anyway, played on. Rubbing his racing. So Noah Haskett. Now there's 10 on the penalty I hear. So they're looking at an outlet of the box here. Okay, no, that's half time. Half time it is. 
And South Australia uh, just eke a little bit closer there. And they kept New Zealand scoreless, even though they had plenty of man-up opportunities. But New Zealand still currently lead 4-2 here on your Australian lacrosse network. And goal scorers, well, they haven't changed for New Zealand. Clarkson with two, Cathcart with one, and Baba with one. But on the South Australian side, there's been some movement on the goal scorers. We've had a Hutto Rob with one and Oliver Walsh with one. And uh, as the boys go into their half-time breaks, big shout-out on Instagram to New Zealand Lacrosse Junkie. I believe uh, they took a bit of footage there yesterday on the WA game. So if you want to have a look at that game, just get on to New Zealand Lacrosse Junkie on Insta. And you'll be able to see some bits and pieces of uh, New Zealand's forage into the uh, South Australian wilderness to take on these Australian teams. And they're doing very well at the moment. 4-2 is the score. And uh, we're just going to take a little break as we go to half time.
right. And as we come back into the game, we're going to see New Zealand. No, South Australia to clear the ball. And after half time, it's still 4 2. For Leopard with the ball, a couple of shout outs Cynthia, Bob, and Deborah in the UK watching. And uh, Lewis Guy, it's grandparents, I believe. So good to see you. Another big shout out to Jack Woodford and Sammy Kilford over in the beautiful US of A supporting the girls. It's 2.30 a.m. in the morning and they're probably sitting there having a water. But uh, shout out to you, Sammy and Woody. Mate, can't think of a better place other than here to be. And we're going to have a penalty here for a slash. So South Australia will start the ball from the centre, New Zealand. Going to have to uh, do some defence here for Leper with the ball. And keep sending your shout-outs. Now I've got my phone charged so I can actually get back on them. So, for Leper, is he going to be the uh, man who breaks the deadlock of this end? There has not been a score had at the left-hand end. So, uh, man-up opportunity for South Australia. Hutto Rob with the ball. He's got for Leper, Hissy. Kicks the ball down to Perkins. Walsh. Perkins just needs to step in. Kicks it over. Eag sitting in the middle. He got four yesterday for Lepa. Assessing his options. Man on. Coming from behind. Perkins fires. Just about takes out Sam Hissy at the back. Had to dodge that one like the Matrix. But South Australia with the ball. No damage done with that penalty. And Ollie Walsh. Kicks the ball to Hissy. That is the Samuel variety. Perkins over to Rob. Rob just assessing his options. For Lepper gets through. He's picked up Nicholson. Nicholson, Rob just roll, puts it down. Good defense. Walsh loses the handle of the ball. That one goes out of bounds. That's going to be a New Zealand ball. And we'll see the uh, keeper for New Zealand, Snape, pick that one up. And heads it out there to Banks. Banks looks in the middle. Coming into some traffic here, but steps up and over. And South Australia offside. Well caught. Perkins has run over while trying to chase that. So South Australia are going to be man down here. Nash kicks the ball down there to Parker. Parker under immense pressure. Double coming. Parker holds the ball well. Looks inside. Fires. Bang. Off the tip of the stick of Noah Haskett. Ball goes out. South Australia are going to sit for a 30-second offside technical penalty. And New Zealand with an opportunity to bring the score out by another one. So South Australia played a fair bit of defense in this game. So they should be warm out there. And ball starting down the bottom with Cathcart. Cathcart kicks it there to Parker. Parker, Dante Martin... Just looking, looking over the backside, looks out the other side, kicks the ball up there to Martin. Down to Dante Martin. Ball out the back to Parker. Parker looks up, fires. Oh, that one uh, may or may not have gone out. And Noah Haskett with a backup. Oh, that hurts the coach when you're man down and you lose the ball because you don't get back up. But good work there from Haskett. So, ball. Kicks over here to Inglis. Inglis just pops on up to Walsh. Walsh gets his motors on against Banks. Eag just uh, getting out his way. Green becomes an outlet for Ollie Watt. Sorry, that's for Lepper. Wearing a seven, which looks like one. Now he kicks it to Green. Green at X against the shorty. He's against Nash. Nash looks around. Pops. Kicks that to Philippa. Looking for a little two-man game down the back. Unfortunately, to play a two-man game, you've got to get together. Pushes in. Good work. Double comes. Steps up. Fires. Rob. Great save there from Snape. And the ball not going out of bounds. And Philippa with the backup. So good opportunity for South Australia. New Zealand playing really good defense down there. Radovanovic with the ball. Picks up his. Goes through the pick. Oh, just steps through the big man. And uh, Beck... Picks him up, goes again, looks at him, Radovanovic, kicks it to Walsh, Walsh up to Green, Green, Rob, 
Rob down the left-hand side. He picks up the shorty, looking to drive. Kicks it down the back. Radovanovic, not enough uh, steps in that one to get past goal line extended. Great pick up there from Nash. Under pressure now, gone through one, gone through two, gone through three. It's like that rugby ad that I saw. Lost his mouth guard. So uh, lost it in there. Fires down. And we've got equipment, lost his equipment as he ran through. Must have been running that hard that he lost uh, his mouth guard while he was running. But a great job there from uh, Sam Nash taking that ball out. And we see there New Zealand back into offense. 4-2 is the score here if you've just joined us on the Australian Lacrosse Network. Live and free from the 2022 National Under-18 Championships. And South Australia will take the ball. Filippo, no, another whistle. And we're just going to confer there. That as loose equipment with a mouth guard probably gets an opportunity to put it in because he had it in and he lost it as he was running. Turnover of the ball might be a bit tough. So... But South Australia look like they're going to have the ball here. Although the shot with the backup, I was watching more what was going on before that. And it should be. It should be a New Zealand ball, I was. Uh, or South Australia are going to start with it in the back corner. So, New Zealand ball. Down the back corner as everyone rushes. It's all like it's going downhill here. Everyone's running down. So a loose equipment call, which is fair enough. He's allowed to be the same as if helmet was undone. Shot was had. Backup was had. New Zealand start with the ball. So New Zealand will start with the ball down the back. Kicks it up there to Martin. Martin oh, nice little backdoor cut there from Lee. Just uh, had Anthony Green looking. And that's a ward. Going to be called for a ward. Philippa picks the ball. Sorry, Green picks the ball up. Green off to the races. He's got Philippa on his right. Wants to use him. Picks it up again. He's still there. Now the numbers have come for New Zealand. And he doesn't get the opportunity. And good defense there. As Red call a timeout. As Happy was all over Philippa. And Red with a timeout. Just going to have a bit of a chat in their offensive set. As I said, 4-2 is the score. And let's see if I can get to a couple of more shout outs. So Yvonne Barr says, go Kyle and team. Proud Nana and Popper watching from Wangamata, New Zealand. Wangamata, look at this. Uh, Jeff Wilmot says, go New Zealand. Da -da 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 -da. Let's go down here. Uh, Lucas Thom says, bring the Stangs glory. Greg Price, Henry Clarkson is carrying. Uh, what else have we got here? Judith, Judy Blythe says, Nana and Papa waiting to hear Ben. Um, Lucas Thom says, solid man down. Absolutely is. And keep your comments coming in because I can look now. I've charged my phone up. Okay, excellent. So just getting confirmation there too on Ben Cowan. Uh, which is fantastic. A hyper-extended elbow. Uh, no fracture at this stage. And just going to be sore. And back tomorrow. Because New Zealand are tough. That's what I like. Soccer player would have been out for nine months. The cross player back tomorrow. <laughs> and look at Sammy just trying to get his uh, work. <laughs> Don't run, Sam. Overrated. So South Australia with the ball. Too many on. Flag down. Oh, that's a uh, not a good thing coming out of a timeout. Coaches would have had a time to set their defense, and all of a sudden there's seven defenders on there. Don't know what that was either. I, I gather they called that a shot. But penalty coming. Too many on. 32nd. And South Australia, with an opportunity in a man up, 
in what started out to be a very uh, scoring game with New Zealand getting four on the board early, and it's dried up since. So, a bit of a uh, arm wrestle at the moment between these two teams. Perkins kicks the ball down to Rob. Hissy just rolls up top. A little bit of rotation. There's a wheel coming down the bottom. Looks down the bottom. Flepper, good knockdown from the defence. Steps inside, gets monstered pops. Flag coming. And that will probably be a slash. We'll just have a little look at the call. Slash, yes. And that is on Max Mills. So New Zealand, two down, one down very shortly. That's a 30 second penalty is released. So South Australia with a one minute penalty. Man up for one minute. Philippa up the top, kicks it to Perkins. Perkins down to Rob. Back to Perkins, he's got Hissy up the time. Here comes the wheel again, looks down. There's the Philippa one, kicks it out the other side. Rob, very well worked man up by the South Australian team. Great ball movement and Hutto Rob gets on the scoreboard courtesy of a little one from Philippa coming the other side. And we're back to a 4-3 game here, live and free on the Australian Lacrosse Network. And we hope you're enjoying the coverage of this under 18 championship pool game between New Zealand and South Australia. And it's turning out to be exactly as we thought it was going to be, a tight, tough contest. So Rob gets his second of the game. But a great little feed there from Sean Falepa coming across the front. And that's the way, because the goalie has to turn. Got no chance to save those. Ball back in the centre, Holt. Up against Clarkson. No, sorry, not Clarkson, Nash. Nash wins that one. Legal on Holt. So Nash with the ball. Has got a uh, someone to present, yeah. He has Dante Martin. And now he has Parker. So Cole Parker with the ball up top. Guarded by Summer Inglis, sorry. Inglis with the defense on Parker. South Australia just pushing him out at the moment. As we see Amani Martin just uh, coming on and presenting as an option. Oh, standing naked in the crease. Great knockdown there. Another good play there from Inglis. Good defense to be had. Great ground ball, though. Great hold. Needs to get rid of it on the ground, and we might uh, see a loose ball push there. So New Zealand maintaining the ball, and it doesn't matter how much Sean Philippa tells the uh, referees how much he disagreed with that. It's still going to be a New Zealand ball. Elijah Lee just about takes out one of the referees over there. <laughs> Henry Clarkson. With the ball, up against Griffin Capella. Kicks it there to Amani Martin. Amani Martin has Sean Philippa. Good uh, short stick, uh, steps in. Good defense though from Philippa. Just goes to step back, but Sean not giving up on the body contest. And ball coming up and over the top. As uh, ball comes in there from Cathcart. Cathcart has summoned and turns. Good turn there. Summerton just needs to keep him down there. Cathcart kicks the ball over. Kicks that to Clarkson. Clarkson up the top here. Elijah Lee, or oh, just stepping inside, stepping outside. Good work there from Holt. Good defense. And Philippa's off to the races. There's a fast man opportunity here for South Australia. Philippa kicks it over to, oh, good save. Great save from the keeper there in Snape. Back up the top. Rob, bang, off the... Pipe, pipe, pipe city. Tink, tink, tink goes the pipe. And South Australia with a couple of good opportunities. But Kieran Snape, like a brick wall. And Rob picks the ball up and runs his defender behind. Steps up. Eag. Eag got four yesterday right in that spot. Comes out. Ball to be won. South Australia just need to pick it up and take it to space. But New Zealand, good job there from Will Holt. He did exactly that as Will Holt is going to sub, as they should get the sub call on South Australia. Kicks it back to Philippa. Philippa over to Green. As the sub comes on, and we've got a whistle as the goal has been dislodged. 
Just get the uh, spirit level out to make sure that it's the bubble doesn't hasn't moved properly. Love it. So, ball up the top here with Green. Kicks it down to Walsh. Walsh with the ball, looking at his options. Green looks up, kicks it to Flipper. Well guarded there by Happy. Happy down the bottom. Great from Eag. Set. Oh, another great save there from Kieran Snape. Fantastic job, but South Australia with the ball back. Ollie Walsh looking to go quickly here. Defence turns. Green needs to get out his way or get through. Green with the ball, stepped up. Just uh, goes into Eag stick. Back up to Rob. Rob. Got Orlando. Orlando Kernahan is on. We're going to have another stop clock here. Nope, maybe the bubble wasn't exactly square. Maybe every time the goalie hits the goal, it moves it. <laughs> Might be back on the fence by the time we finish. All right. So ball up with with Filippa here, Sean. He's got Kernahan on his left. Ollie Kernahan just coming into the game. Picks up a shorty, Filippa. Just playing a 2-2-2 two, two, two here. Looking inside. Oh, Kernahan by himself. But great defense there from the New Zealanders. Picks the ball up, ball's out the back. Ball's out the ball to be won. Needs to pick the ball up here. And there it is, Eag. The biggest man on the ground gets the lowest to the ground. And Green with the ball, kicks it to Rob. South Australia looking like they're playing a 22 eye at the moment. That is two at the top, no. Going to 1-4-1 one, one now. And just running their cutters. So steps up, looks in, Eag. Not there, Kernahan. Down there to Rob, looks in. Kernahan just steps off the backside. Got a cracking shot if you uh, want to feed that to him. Saw him get one in State League the other day, but fantastic defense there from Ford and kicks it up. Ball to be one on the outer side here, needs to keep it in. Plenty of pressure coming, no. Beck, great job in clearing that ball and kicks it back to Parker and New Zealand. With an opportunity, it is 4-3 here in the third. Oh, that's off the bar. That was very close to uh, being all clear there. Noah Haskett, though, picks it off the bar. He's got Capella off the other side. Back to Haskett. Haskett under pressure. Summerton sitting at the top here. Just needs to kick it and stretch now. And there's a man up opportunity. So Summerton running in. Long pole just misses his uh, target. And Summerton will have to run back into defense. So ball down the back corner for New Zealand. Kicks it to Snape. Snape under pressure. Great job from, uh, there's a, might be a, no. New Zealand ball. Thought there might have been a push there maybe. But you know what? Oh, and again, just throws it out of bounds. But uh, off the tip, and we've got a whistle here. Not happy with where that was taken. So Amani Martin picks the ball up, and he'll look to run it out. He's got Hutto Rob. Oh, Hutto Rob. Broken stick. So uh, he will have to uh, get that one. And Amani Martin loses the ball. Good work from Capella. Kicks it back to Noah. Noah. Kicks it out. That's Inglis. Back to Inglis. Back to Haskett. Inglis. Haskett. I tell you what, if it was a uh, sports bet and you were having possessions, you just picked up a few there. And good there from Higgins. Higgins comes down. Looks at Ranovatovic. He doesn't mind firing a ball up the top. Oh, inside take. What a great take there. But, but now ball on the ground. That might be a hold. Oh. Might have been thrown to the ground. That's going to be a loose ball push. And that is a South Australian ball. And Higgins thinking, shall I stay there? Because I tell you what, if I could take it in the crease with a long pole like that, it might stay there. South Australia, 4-3 game. Lock, Ewan, kicks it down the back. Walsh, he's got Perkins up the top, Radovanovic up the top as the 
The whistle goes for three-quarter time. And we're set up for a very, very good last quarter. 4-3. Scoring has dried up. <laughs> very much so. So 4-3 the score here. And are we three-quarter time? Or is it time? No, three-quarter time. Just getting that. Let's have a look here online while we're just having a bit of a look. Look at this. So many people online. Um, where do I go? Where do I go? Where do I go? Left about there. Linton Ascot, good work. Tony Watts and Anastasia Araviakis doing a fantastic job up there on the camera. Craig Nicholson, go New Zealand. Loving the coverage from the Angus Nicholson Fan Club, Auckland, New Zealand. Great to have you on board for the Australian Lacrosse Network. Helen Brinkman says, go Scott. Linton Ascot says, great work, Scott Gill, working remotely while having the spicy sea. Our uh, producer, Scotty Gill, went down the day before with COVID and he still manages to put this together. It's a fantastic job, Scotty Gill. Karen Woodcock, the Woodcocks say, hey, Max Mills from Westport, New Zealand. Doug Hearman says, will be great to see Kyle Parker playing in the States for Northland College Roll Jacks. So, hey, great opportunity there. Leon and Becky Green, great retention, Kyle. James Stumpo, maybe find some other future lumberjacks watching this. There's some plenty of long stick lumberjacks out there. So, uh, yeah, keep it coming on the uh, Australian Lacrosse Network. And again, big shout out to the boys over in the US. Jack Woodford, Sammy Kilford, still live on stream, enjoying the coverage of this uh, under 18 South Australia. And Sammy Kilford was actually a uh, assistant coach of the South Australian team, but is a beautiful partner. Addy Cunningham is currently the uh, goalkeeper for the Australian women's team and obviously uh, Jack Woodford partner of so boys I know I've seen the pictures you are just enjoying it immensely out there and I hope you enjoy the last quarter so ball to be won here good uh, there from Hissy but great pick up from Sebastian Hardis just throws the ball at it Hutto Rob's feet makes it hard for him and Hardis Rob has the ball Kicks it up here to Radovanovic. And say that four times in a row or the pocket of marbles. Radovanovic. Kicks it down to Walsh. Walsh, Rob, coming to set a pick. Walsh looking in, little nice cut there from Hissy. Kicks it to Radovanovic. Sitting in a 2-2-2 two, two, two at the moment, rolling into a 1-4-1. One, one. Rob looks inside, looks up, finds Radovanovic. Got a big body, Ranovanovic. Doesn't mind running through people and creating a body. Fine, fires Ranovanovic. Ties it up early in the fourth. And that's the big body just pushing in. Stepped back, took a shot. And uh, four goals all is the score here. And Lukey Ranovanovic gets South Australia to an even score. So after the first quarter when New Zealand came out and absolutely blitzed South Australia, they've failed to trouble the scoreboard since. And South Australia, taking them one goal at a time, has put it back one all. And are we going to golden goal again? That's almost our call cry on the Australian Lacrosse Network. We want golden goal. We want to bring you more lacrosse and more time of these great games. So ball in the middle. Holt. Up against. Ball to be won. Good check there from Ang Higgins. Ball still to be won. Not giving it up. Again, contest after contest is this. And that's how good this game is at the moment. Haskett has Higgins up the line. Higgins has the man inside him, though. And it might go back to Haskett. And Haskett just assesses his options. And there it is in the middle of the field. Hadn't seen him yet. Perkins. Just lined up in the middle of the field. And now we've got Eag. Eag's still in the middle of the field. 
So Perkins, Eag, looking at one over the top. There's Eag over the top, but not there. So South Australia messing around with it a bit here. There's a, there's a loose man. New Zealand playing almost a 10-man zone apart from, or 10-man ride. But plenty of opportunities here for South Australia to find an open man. And plenty of work being done. Big kill. Just uh, running on the outer side here. Higgins. Just messing around with it. Really slow. Good ride here from New Zealand. Summerton down the line and picked off. So New Zealand, after all of that, happy. Puts in. It's about where you call the timeout, coach, if you're under that much pressure. Ball there. Parker. And timeout called New Zealand. Good call, I say. That's the coach in me. <laughs> I was already over you, Dave. <laughs> but good call there from New Zealand. Got one to waste. Keep possession for all. And uh, what is turning out to be a really good game here. And Tracy Robertson Lyon to go the boys in black from Joss Lyon. Amanda Arnold says, go Team New Zealand, playing great. Shout out. Sorry, my eyes aren't working. Shout out to the Rosemini boys. You're awesome. Scotty Newman says, go South Australia. Lucas Thorne. Thom, sorry, Lucas Thom. Says, put some body on New Zealand. Yeah, that's what we like to see. As long as it's as long as it's clean. Trav Bradbury, go Big Ben, give it heaps well done. And Leon and Becky Green. Let's go New Zealand. So keep them coming in. I'll try and get them out for the rest of this game. Do you reckon we're going to golden goal overtime? Let us know. I love it. Ball with New Zealand. Down the back here. Cathcart with the ball. Assessing his options. Sun's just shining nicely. So that, that's going to be in an awkward spot for Haskett on this right-hand side. Clarkson kicks it over to Amani Martin. Amani Martin kicks it over to Dante Martin. Simultaneous fouls. Uh, or just let it play. Um, simultaneous fouls called there. No penalties. Keep the ball kicking. Maybe. Yeah. You know what? But as Dave Campbell has just whispered to me, tell them to get their heads in. Like it. Flag down. New Zealand are going to be a man up. Good opportunity here for Dante Martin. Steps over. Amani Martin fires. Puts it hip side. And Amani Martin puts New Zealand back in front. They are out to a 5-4 lead. And a beautiful shot there from Amani Martin. Just on the left hip of Noah Haskett being a left-handed keeper. Fantastic shot. We had a flag there. We're just not sure whether that was a one minute or a 30 second waved off. Just assessing that. So as the black and whites have a conversation, just to uh, work this one out. Yep. Penalty is cancelled and all clear on the goal. So it was a 30-second penalty by the sound of it. Non-servable with the goal cancelling it out. And New Zealand, what you can't cancel out is that they hold a one-goal lead here against South Australia. And a face-off to be had. Nash. Up against Hardis, I think it is. Can't quite see the number there. Hardis with the ball, flicks it out the back to himself. Great job by Seb Hardis. So South Australia with an opportunity. Hardis pushes in, kicks it down. Need to kick it down the line. And doesn't, and holds. And great job from Seb Hardis. Radovanovic, he got the last goal for South Australia. And uh, gets a little bit of long stick pressure on him this time. Hello, Rob, with the ball. And New Zealand pushing out nicely here with the defence. Radovanovic, they're, they're going to put a bigger body on him. Philippa 
with the ball. He's picked up a shorty. Crafty is young Sean Filippa. Steps up the top. He fires. Bang! Off the helmet of the New Zealand or the back, maybe. And uh, just feeling that one a little. All right, and we're back. Sorry about that. Don't know what happened there. I think someone kicked our uh, power out. And while you're out, you probably still had audio, so apologies. But Hayden Eag scored for South Australia to tie it up 5-all. And we've got a penalty just being given here to New Zealand. So good save there from Haskett on the backside. But man-up opportunity for New Zealand. New Zealand, Cathcart, kicks it over there to Clarkson. Kicks it back down the bottom. Down to the rotation there to Parker. Parker looking for an option, stepping in, fires. Woo! High and away. But uh, plenty of heat on that one from Cathcart. And New Zealand stepping up the top here again. Bang! Top shelf. That rattled the cookie jar like you wouldn't believe. Henry Clarkson. Noah Haskett getting a big piece of that, but it went straight through the top of the stick into the top of the net, and Sammy Kilford, rattling cookie jars, mate. That might just be uh, one of those ones in the game. And Henry Clarkson now has three for the game. South Australia, 6-5 down. Ball, back in the centre. Sam Nash here, up against Seb Hardis. And Seb, I think, won the last one. Nash, Hardis, out. Hardis brings it to himself. Just to, just rubbing his right. People falling over the ball everywhere. Still need to pick up a ground ball. Plenty of willing he bodies here. Hardis still under immense amount of pressure. Loose ball push. Red ball 
Philippa with the ball. Opportunity for South Australia now. Young Rob. Nearly called him Stewie then. Stewie would love that. Hudson Rob kicks it up here to Ollie Walsh. Ollie Walsh just assesses left, right. Philippa up the top. Beats his man, frees the hands, throws it away. And that's a big New Zealand ball. So New Zealand with possession here to clear. South Australia are going to want to have to ride, pick up their players because there's plenty of players going everywhere here. Kieran Snape, he will uh, assess what's going on. Kicks it over to the other side there to Nash. Or, no, that might be Nicholson. Sorry. Nicholson just doing an underswim. Henry Clarkson up the top. Little fakey-fakey, uh, but uh, no one bit on that one. Parker with the ball. He has Inglis on him. Plenty of sunshine this side. You can see Noah in the cage just looking straight into that sun. So you'd be driving down this side and trying to pop him high. Clarkson with the ball up high. Picks up Higgins. Jack Higgins looking to roll. They're just looking to take some time out of the clock here. New Zealand. Just trying to... Uh, but Higgins making him work. Dante Martin kicks it over here to Kyle Parker. Summited. Just picks up. Stepped inside. Parker, good double there from Green. Green did a fantastic job in the second slide, or first slide. And Parker with the ball. Picks up Summit and ooh, dry, just a little fake. Time to move the ball on. Henry Clarkson, he's got three for the game. Wants to four. Higgins falls over. Got to recover quickly as the ball is uh, still to be won. New Zealand, ball still on the deck. Still on the deck. Oh, flag down. Double flag down, and that is going to be a penalty to South Australia. As uh, while he's on the ground, may be an unsportsmanlike penalty here. We'll listen to what's going on and just see the call while he was on the ground. May have given him one, <laughs> but the black and white's right on the spot. Not missing a thing at the moment. So we, I would suggest that we have South Australia in a penalty situation. And it might be an unsportsmanlike. So we're going to, it may be, is it a two minute unsportsmanlike? We'll just, we'll have to uh, see the relay here. But whatever happens, South Australia will find themselves in a man down situation. So let's listen to the officials here and see what they have to say. Red 1-6, uh, 1-0, should be, unnecessary roughness. <coughs> okay, so Griffin Capella, he's at least got two one minutes. It might even be three one minutes. Two one minutes, both unsports one unsportsmanlike, one unnecessary roughness. Okay, so Griffin Capella gave him one on the ground. And fair enough. So New Zealand in a two-minute man-up opportunity. They are 6-5 up. Not sure how long to go in this last quarter. But they certainly hold the ascendancy over South Australia. And they could literally hold the ball out here and not attack the cage. Oh, and a tip. You don't want to lose the ball. New Zealand. Back with Parker. Steps up the top. Amani Martin down the bottom there to Clarkson. Clarkson kicks it back up to Amani Martin. Amani Martin kicks it to stop. Got Cathcart. Back down the back to Kyle Parker. Kyle Parker just uh, looking like he wants to do something, but not there. Up to Martin. Back around to Cathcart. And we've got a stall call on. So the ball cannot be brought up above the restraining line now as it. And this is where you'd put. And. That is a red ball, off they go. So New Zealand throwing that one away. Fasty steps down, Hutto Rob scores. We've got a tied game here. 
6-6 with New Zealand in a man-up opportunity, winning the stall call on it in the uh, man-down situation. Just a tip, went outside the restraining line, turn over to South Australia, and South Australia through Sean Philippa, he just uh, found Hutto Rob on the bottom corner. And I tell you what, golden goal is looking good. As the sun just breaks in the background here, Hutto Rob, that's his third of the game. Philippa, great find on the bottom corner. Six all here on the Australian Lacrosse Network for all your live and free lacrosse. And does it get any better than this? So, ball down on the ground. Higgins up against Clarkson. Clarkson kicks the ball forward. New Zealand not in the stick yet. Oh, no possession. Bad call from the New Zealand. Bad call from the New Zealand coach. No possession. So we're going to have, that could be a turnover of ball here. Got to have possession before you can call a timeout. Ball was on the deck. No possession. So this could be a turnover for New Zealand. Oh, that one you want to take back as a coach. So you, you need to be in possession or a dead ball. Oh, got away with one there, I think, New Zealand. Ball hadn't uh, been picked up in a stick when that timeout was called, and they might have got away with one. There is no possession on that, and I can understand why South Australia are upset with that. But you can Anyway, I'm sure that'll be looked at later. But what we do have is a six-all game. South Australia, New Zealand. And while there is a timeout, let me uh, get back on uh, and see if I've got anyone here. I can... I had... Uh, Deirdre Ellen say, brilliant goal, Amani, and I'm going back a bit now. Leon and Becky Green, woohoo, New Zealand. Uh, Tracy Robertson Lyon, uh, go Sammy. Yep, we lost sound for a bit, so we apologise uh, to do that. Daniel Wilson said, you've gone very quiet. Tony Watts, well, I tell you what, that's very unusual for me. And uh, um, you can pretend to be tone deaf, but you can't get away from me. Dave McRae says, I've just lost the auto. Yep, let me get past that. Um, great game, New Zealand. Go Henry Clarkson. That's Ella Johnson. David McRae, much better now. Welcome back. Uh, da, 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 da. Aaron Parker. Go New Zealand. The boys from Matangi Mustangs. Connor Harvey Price says, let's go New Zealand. Leon and Becky Green. What an awesome game. And Peter Can says, think that's why they have umpires assessors to be discussed later. Well, they may discuss that one. But uh, anyway, it is what it is. New Zealand have the ball. Still in a man-up opportunity, and will that turn out to be a big call? With a man up here, steps up. Amani Martin fires. Great save from Haskett down low when uh, Dante Martin with the fire. Man up. There's about to be a man released. No. Shorty comes to the ball. Another shorty comes to the ball. Not sure how, many, how much time Sorry is left in that penalty over there on Griffin Capella. No, Haskett, he doesn't mind a run or two. Does run around with a uh, short stick occasionally in the uh, levels of South Australian lacrosse. Green brings it down. Philippa up the top. He's got someone stalking him behind, hot behind. And uh, that was Amani Martin. Kicks it back down to Rob. We've got a six all game. If you're just joining us on the Australian Lacrosse Network, we're at deep into the fourth. Timeout red. And Bob Carter, Anson Carter, and Mark Bahaja want to have a chat and uh, let us know, are we going to Golden Goal? Get on. Let me know. I don't mind calling for another 10 minutes. We've got Rhett Johnson. G'day, ready? Watching. Ethan West is also watching. Big shout out to you boys. If you've just joined us, it is six all. We have a timeout to South Australia. We're deep in the fourth quarter at six all. Wouldn't be that much time left. And P 
Peter Can says some exciting young goalkeepers playing in this series. Fantastic. Yeah, I'll tell you what, uh, Peter, there has been some brick walls in the cage. And uh, it, today, no doubt, no different. Sorry, young Kieran Snape, number 20 for New Zealand, doing a great job. Has uh, both keepers for uh, SA, Lewis Guyatt. Has a gob, and I tell you what, Noah uh, Haskett is doing a good job as well. As it just gets a little dark here, and the lights get turned on, maybe they do know we're going a golden goal. Doug Hammond says, "Come on, guys, get that win." Daniel Elson says, "Got to be golden goal. Can't let you go all tawny without having one, Tony." Well, I tell you what, Dan, you missed the one yesterday because the first girl was one we weren't going to do. South Australia went down in a cracker to New Zealand in golden goal. William Chisholm says, let's go New Zealand boys from Te Awamatu. Sarah Cathcart, keep up the Mahani Ateora. I don't know whether I said that right in my Australian accent, but Sarah. So, ball on the outer side. Ball is with you and Locke. Locke kicks it up to Perkins. Perkins kicks it down to Rob. Rob's got three for the day for Lepo. Oh, just about throws it behind him. Locke down the bottom. Locke with some great speed. He can free his hands. Locke pops that one past him. And Ewan Locke, no, sorry, that was Ollie Walsh, comes off. And uh, Walsh with plenty of heat on that shot. Clock is on. So not much time left in this one at all. Can South Australia get a game winner right on the death knock of this one? Steps up, looks in. Is it no great save from the keeper? Great cut coming through there. But New Zealand come off a New Zealand foot will be a South Australian ball. And South Australia with an opportunity there. But Kieran Snape. Kieran Snape. So about two or three seconds left. That is it. It is full time here at the Brighton Lacrosse Club. And we are going to my favourite. It is going to go and go here on field one. It is currently six all, South Australia, New Zealand. And what we will have is a four minute period, followed by a two minute break, followed by a four minute period. If there is no scores in that, we will just go again to another period. First goal scorer wins the game. And that's how exciting it is. Here we go. Lee Haskett's watching. Yep, Noah doing a fantastic job here, Lee. Andrew Bell, not golden goal, only black goals. Okay, like it. William Chisholm, let's go New Zealand. Deirdre Ellen, Kieran Snape, you are having an awesome game, you rock. I tell you what, the two goalkeepers at the moment will certainly be up there for the uh, MVPs for this game. Both Haskett and Snape doing a fantastic job. And um, Lucas Thom says, finishing strong, Wakato lads. Doug Hairman says, Kieran, bloody legend. Well, I tell you what, he gave them an opportunity with that last save because that was a fantastic cut. Fantastic cut coming in and had to make a game-winning save. Otherwise, that game was over. But we are going to a four-minute period. The first to score here wins the game. If there's no score in the first four minutes, there's a two minutes break, we swap, we have another four minute period. If there is no goal after that, we'll just keep playing. We've got the lights on now, we can go to nine o'clock here. And who is gonna be the person that uh, picks a favorite saying in life? This is the time where someone picks up a pencil because history's written every day. Who is the person that's going to pick up the pencil here and write the history of this game? Face off. Hardis up against Clarkson. Huge face off to win in the context of the game. South Australia, New Zealand, cracking game in your under 18 national championships. Scotty Newman says, go Hutto. Sue Green says, fantastic game by both teams. Now SA to win. Ball down, out, picked up by New Zealand. 
loses the ball. Picked up by New Zealand. Clarkson with the ball. Kicks inside there to Nicholson. Nicholson drops the ball. Ball still to be won on the ground. Ball dropped by the New Zealand. Picked up. Philippa has the ball in his stick. Philippa needs someone to come to him. Just runs it to X and assesses his options. He picks up Nicholson. Nicholson against, fires, goal to goal. Philippa wins the game for South Australia. And aren't they excited? What a cracking game from both teams. Anthony Philippa with the game. Sorry, not Anthony. Ant, you'd love that. Sean Philippa with the game winner. Sorry, Ant, going back a few years. But uh, Sean Philippa with a game winner there. South Australia run out winners. But congratulations to the New Zealand under-18 team. What a fantastic game. Doesn't get any closer than that. And unfortunately for everyone, there's going to be a winner. And the great thing about lacrosse is some you win and some you learn. And if you learn, you never truly lose. And I can tell you what, we learn a lot about the both teams there. But I, the other thing is, Kieran Snape in the goal. Hold your head up. What a fantastic game in the cage. And New Zealand, while they'll be disappointed, that was an outstanding game. And, uh, and our best wishes, too, to Ben Cowan as he just gets in there. So congratulations, New Zealand, on a fantastic game. Came out really hard, 4-0, and South Australia just able to uh, eke it back. And Sean Philippa coming from X with the game winner there. Hold your heads up high, everyone, because that was a fantastic game of lacrosse. And uh, we thank you all for joining in on the Australian Lacrosse Network's live feed. We are going to be here again tomorrow. We're bringing you women's lacrosse from field one. And uh, I think the results today, South Australia beat Western Australia. And I believe Victoria beat WA. Fantastic job, New Zealand, as they get the applause as they should. And we're going to be back here tomorrow. Two more games and then Sunday. We've got a three-game event for you. And I just can't wait. If this is the lacrosse we're going to see, cannot wait to bring that coverage to you. And I hope you're all going to be joining in. So uh, tomorrow, both women's games. And I believe they're going to be, I have to double-check, but it might be 12.45 and 3.30. And then on Sunday... It is finals day. We're going to have the 9.30 game, which is 3v4 for the boys. And then we're going to have 1v2 boys, I believe, at, uh, I think that's 12. I'll double check the timing and then the women will finish it off in the 1v2 game. So um, what a fantastic game. Thank you for joining us here on the Australian Lacrosse Network. We will see you tomorrow until the sticks are swinging. Look after yourself.